Magandang araw! Ngayon naman, pag-usapan naman natin sa week 7, lesson 1 of 2, ang routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money. Samahan niyo ako na matuto sa araling ito. Solving problems is somewhat easy if you are going to follow the steps on how to solve them. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. For learning task 1, round off the items and estimate the quotients, then write less than symbol if the answer is less than or greater than symbol if it is greater than the actual quotient. Do this in your notebook. So, tan natin ang number 1. 28 and 4 tenths divided by 7. Una, kunin natin ang quotient gamit ang estimation. So, i-round up natin ang 28 and 4 tenths. Ito ay magiging 28 pag ni-round up. Then, i-divide natin 28 divided by 7. Ilang 7 sa 28? Apat. 4 times 7 equals 28. Pag i-minus, 0. Kaya naman, ang sagot natin ay 4. I-divide naman natin using actual quotient. 28 and 4 tenths divided by 7. Step 1, itaas muna ang decimal point sa dividend. Ilagay sa quotient. Then, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 equals 0, then bring down 4. 4 divided by 7 cannot be, lagay ang 0. 0 times 7 equals 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4. Then lagay ng 0 on dividend, then bring down 0. 40 divided by 7 equals 5. 5 times 7 equals 35, 40 minus 35, and that is 5. Lagyan uli ng 0 on dividend, then bring down 50 divided by 7, equals 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Pag i-minus, 50 minus 49, equals 1. This time, stop na tayo. Pwede na natin itong magamit na quotient. 4 and 57 thousands. So, ang ating sagot ay less than. Read and analyze the sample problem below. Study the steps used to solve the length of each song. While listening to music, Athena recorded that the five songs in the radio she was listening took 17 and 25 hundreds minutes of air time. What was the average length of its music? For the steps and answer, let us understand. Know what is asked in the problem. Average length of its music. What are the given facts? Five songs. 17 and 25 hundreds minutes. Plan. What operation are you going to use? Division. Solve. Show the solution. 17 and 25 hundreds minutes divided by 5 equals 
3 and 45 hundreds. For check and look back, check your answer, the average length of its music. State your answer, 3 and 45 hundreds minutes. For learning task 2, solve the given problems below, write your answers in your notebook. Let us answer problem number 1. Desa, Ann, and D, both materials for their project, worth 276 pesos and 45 centavos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. How much is each share? So, para sa ating solution, divide lang natin ang 276 pesos and 45 centavos sa tatlong mga babae. So, it has a decimal point. Then, let us divide. 3. Ilang 3 sa 27. 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. 27 minus 27 equals 0. Bring down 6. Ilang 3 sa 6? Dalawa. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. Then, bring down 4. 4 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. And, bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then, 15 minus 15 equals 0. So, the answer is... 92 pesos and 15 centavos. Para sa learning task 3, solve the following problems, show the four steps, and complete solutions. Write your answer in your notebook. Ating sagutan ang number 1, Mr. Villa, both 91 and 25 hundreds inches of plastic labeling tape. He will use 1 and 25 hundreds inches long to label its box. How many labels can he make? Para maunawaan natin, sagutan natin ang what is asked in the problem. Number of labels can make. What are the given packs? 21 and 25 hundreds inches and 1 and 25 hundreds inches. Para sa plano, determine the operation to be used. Division. Ano ba ang number sentence? 91 and 25 hundreds divided by 1 and 25 hundreds equals N. Para sa solution and answer, i-divide natin ang 91 and 25 hundreds divided by 1 and 25 hundreds. I-move muna natin ang decimal point sa divisor ng dalawang beses para maging whole number 1, 2. Nag-move tayo ng dalawa, kaya naman sa dividend, mag-move tayo din tayo ng dalawa. 1, 2. Then ating itaas. Then, let us divide. Ilang 125 sa 912? 7. 7 times 125, that is 875. 912 minus 875 equals 37. Bring down 5. 375 divided by 125 equals 3. 3 times 125 equals 375. 375 minus 375 equals 0. So, the answer is 73. Para ma-check natin kung tama, pwede mong i-multiply ang 73 times 1 and 25 hundreds. And that is 91 and 25 Hundreds. Para sa learning task 4, 
Solve the following problems, write your solutions and your answers in your notebook. Ating sagutan ng number 1, If a man works for 8 hours a day, he can finish a job in 12 days. How many hours per day must he work to complete it in 10 days? Itong problem na to ay halimbawa ng inverse proportion. Ang original number is to new number equals new number is to original number. Ito ang ating gagamiting formula. So, 8 hours is to n hours equals 10 days is to 12 days. Or, 8 is to n equals 10 is to 12. Multiply natin ang 8 times 12 at saka n times 10. 8 times 12 equals 96. n times 10 equals 10n. Then, i-divide natin ito sa 10 pareho. Kaya magiging sagot ay 9 and 6 tenths. So, ang sagot ay 9 and 6 tenths hours. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa susunod pang mga video, huwag kakalimutang i-share, paalam.